Okay, we should be starting very soon. <clears throat> getting Alrighty. some Alrighty. I was just freaking out over the evolution of score bunny. It's called Raboot. Yeah. Raboot. Why is it called Raboot? It's a rabbit with a boot. It's a guy, it doesn't even have boots on. What are you talking about? It has the um, soccer boots. Oh, all right. I need to look up a picture of it. This is about to become my favorite Pokemon instantly. <clears throat> Those are not boots. I, I don't know. I don't know what Raboot looks like. Honestly, like the feet at least. Maybe it's supposed to be Raboot. Like rab rabbit foot, like rabbit foot. Oh, rabbit foot! Oh, that makes more sense. Rabbit. That's even worse. I like raboot. <laughs> I really want one now. <laughs> it's called raboot. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> it's starting. Team preview. Wolf versus Shoma. I'm back. He's back. There's no team preview. Yo, Shoma grew his hair for you, bro. Look at this. Bro, for me. <laughs> it's freaking. His hair is so much longer. <laughs> it looks so powerful. Oh my god, it's so long. Wait, how, how can it be here when your camera still doesn't have anyone there? Uh, because there's a delay. They had a delay, I think. That's very rude. That is very rude. <clears throat> is there something wrong with my uh, mic? Don't think so. Which one's fine to me? I think people are saying my mic is messed up. Oh, don't hit the player, hit the game. I'm going to do a pear. One sec. <laughs> pear is my favorite fruit. <laughs> we get to watch him eat a pear. Look at this. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, it's a delayed stream. Like, can we go back to Raboot? <laughs> <laughs> it's called <laughs> Raboot. <laughs> it doesn't have any boots. His hair is so much longer. Oh it looks my goodness. so powerful. <clears throat> Cinderace. Come on. Wait, Cinderace doesn't make any sense. Here when Cinderace? Camera... Yeah, I don't like Cinderace's Wolf, design. Echo. Just... Wolf, Echo. There's not my end this time. I have headphones in. Oh. Is there echo for me? Is there something wrong with my uh, mic? I'll mute myself and then test. <clears throat> Do you have an echo? My mic is messed up. Yeah, I still hear it. I I hear the stream. It's not even an echo. It's delayed. <laughs> um. Uh, is it is it gone now? Oh oh I know I know why I know why I can turn it off. Okay yeah you good? Oh yeah. Never mind. It should be better now. Oh, no, it's well, well it'll be better in a second. Once I said it's better now it should be better. Like once the stream says it. I want to Raboot. Wait, can we go back to Raboot? Okay, well, I just got the <laughs> message. Yeah, no, it's still going on. Wait, is it me? It doesn't have any boots. Do you have the stream open? I have the stream muted. Oh my goodness. Hmm. But I don't know what's going on because I muted, I muted the desktop audio on my stream. Cinderace. Hold on, I'm going to mute myself. Then mm -hmm. Test, 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 test. Can you still hear an echo? Because mm. it's not echo. I'm like... Hearing the stream, still... like five, like yeah. uh, two minutes ago. Weird. I think it's gone now. Okay, I th I think it should be fixed for you, if it's what I thought it was. But all right, you guys ready to square off or what? No. Oh. Okay, we can start now. All right, good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Well, I'll wait. I'll wait until we. I'll wait until we connect because he hasn't. He hasn't found me. Yet. I'm still searching. Oh, all right. Well. Oh, uh, we'll click O2 to start. Very bad. <laughs> no, so is that. I worked so hard only to get to losing. All right, cool. All right, he's here. All right, goodbye. All right, good luck. Thanks. Bye. He is doomed. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, but Shoma is like arguably one of the greatest Pokemon players of all time.
I know Wolf is is in that same argument. But... Wolf also became a streamer. Wolf is in the clan gang. <laughs> clan gang. Clang 2020. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, so now we can actually talk about their matchup since they're gone. Yeah. All right. Um, I think that Gyarados actually does really, really well against most of the team that he's playing against. I don't think he has a way to hit it with an electric move. Yeah, Rapier and Gyarados have very uh, awkward interaction where they're like they're afraid of each other. <laughs> yeah. If they can get one attack boost, right period is done. Yeah. And I don't think he has to... I think obviously the trick room mode is more threatening, but there's no way for him to prevent sleep either. So, hold on. Yeah. So he has a Dragapult. Ludicolo. Pelipper. It was Rhyperia, Bronzong. I don't see the rest. Pelipper, Ludicolo, Togekiss. Oh, Togekiss. Okay, that's it. I got it. Yeah. The, the cutest matchup is going to be Eldegoss, Gyarados. Most likely. <laughs> Late yeah. game, Dragapult. And probably screens too. I wonder if he can, um, like, the, I can like use the interaction of Cotton Down to help itself get an advantage in Trick Room. Though I doubt that could. Like, it sounds like a very niche scenario, but like dropping your own speed when the the slower threats are not on the field, then when they come to the field, you're faster. But I doubt that would happen. You can also just spam Horn Drill. Yes, that was that was his plan apparently. Yeah. I don't think this is a matchup that he wants to bring Excure level to. Togekiss is the only thing it really does well against. Yeah. Arguably, well, I don't know. Rhyperior Ry Bronzong aren't the worst either. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Bronzong and and Kiss. Well, while having neutral Rhyperior, but very cha chaotic ne ne uh, neutral, like they they kind of just. You have to be careful not to be blown back, but if you Dynamax, you can get the fast boost. Okay, my cat is going to say no. Sorry about that. Sounds like it's saying, Dad, feed me. <laughs> Alright, chat. Let's do it. Let's go wolf. I mean, <laughs> unbiased commentary. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, no, my cat, my cat is just like screaming at the outside. He likes to do that. I love cats. We have a cat in my house. His name is Malamars. Aww. And he's the greatest cat. Oh. Alright. We are still starting soon. Yeah, we're promised a team preview. Give us our promise preview. Or riot. <clears throat> Do you think that Grimstone works here? I think it makes sense. Yeah, because it's, yeah, like, again, like, damage reduction is very important when dealing with Dynamax. Uh, you know, like, them not getting the damage they want out of the Dynamax turn is going to be really crucial. So, we have to see how. Uh, I'll like that actually applies because you also have to be careful because you're kind of being prone to crits when you set up screens and uh, like a random brick break can can mess you up too. Yeah, there's not many things that are going to be carrying it. I've seen and it. A lot of people like... don't even run uh, fighting types, but it's more like worried about you're more worried about it on stuff that isn't a fighting type. Yeah, exactly. I've seen it on like Rapier, Terminator. So I don't know how that'll affect it. Like uh, probably not even a factor, but it's something you have to consider for like game one. But 
Okay, we got teams. Awesome. All right. So yeah, we 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 analyzed this matchup a little bit. Definitely, um, Grimmsnarl and Gyarados are huge players in this matchup. It could be either a mix of Eldegoss or Dragapult in the back. I don't think Arcanine is going to have a place here. So it's going to be whether or not he wants to bring like a late game Excadrill or if he's worried if he isn't concerned about rain, like using Excadrill. Yeah, Shaba doesn't have a Ghost Resist either, so I feel like late game Dragapult can mess up. Oh, can mess him up a lot. And uh, I'd guess that the Togekiss is very bulky to be able to deal with Dragapults. Eldegoss Gyarados is the lead he's going to go with. Um, problem with the, obviously with Eldegoss is that it doesn't do well against the opposing Dragapult. But he does have pressure for Sleep Powder. Um, the Dragapult, if that Togekiss has access to Helping Hand, it can max and get the KO right away. And it has the ability to reduce the attack if it's going for max warm wind. Yeah. Um, also, he has to be a bit careful with the potential yawn um, from the Toicus. Could be could be very annoying. We'll have to see how like if he even has it. We know, but like a thunder wave is possible too. But yeah, he just goes with the uh, telegraph. Dragapult to kiss lid, which we've seen a lot. It has a lot of potential, and in the game one, it's so hard to figure out what what's gonna have what. But with, with the fact that Rapier probably carries the weakness policy, I think he shouldn't worry about it in um, any of these Pokemon. He's gonna max the Dragapult here. Um, I would suspect he's gonna go for a max Wormwind to just reduce the output of the, the opposing Gyarados, but. Wolf is actually going to max his Gyarados turn 1. There's no reason for him to max Eldegoss. doesn't have any coverage. Um, and the, the, ideally, you, you kind of do this because you don't want to get just knocked out right away. Gyarados is probably like the, the premier part of his strategy. So he doesn't want to take too much damage from the max Wormwind. And protecting isn't exactly the best option there. Yeah, we just do see the, the Helping Hand coming in, which is always extremely scary. And he just goes for the uh, Phantasm <laughs> into the Eldegoss. Okay, poor Eldegoss gone. Deleted. And the defense drop is, could be annoying, but uh, it's it's better than um, than um, than an attack drop here, I'd say. Wolf's probably going to go for a max Airstream just to boost his speed up again. Yeah. Um, um, I'm assuming he suspected an attack into his own Gyarados. Yeah, I, I mean, it's kind of cutting down here is kind of messing his own strategy up. Uh, oh, okay. We're, we're now we're not censoring anything, so we see uh, we see the sets and we see the dragon as substitute. It's definitely very interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I guess they they, they figure that the the people that are playing aren't actually gonna really worry too much about it. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. I just realized how how are they gonna stream this at tournaments? Is there a, there's a spectator mode, right? Yeah, yeah. In tournaments, there is a spectator mode. It's just online. It's um, we, we, I I heard there's a way to crack it and and actually get into the spectator mode online, but I think it's a big mess, and uh, I'm not sure if it actually works. Hmm. Um. Yeah. But either way. Um. This is looking tough because the uh, the follow me potential. It's definitely annoying, but she's good for a helping hand right away. Wait, show me it's popping off. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Get popped off on, bro. <laughs> oh, it popped off hard. Is this gonna KO? Oh, oh my god, what? Wow. That is insane. <laughs> yeah, Wolf just got popped. Dragapult is not, is not, is not, um, this shouldn't be allowed, it's not legal. <laughs> it does a ridiculous amount of damage, let me tell you that. And you can't even horn drill it to counter it. Yeah. Um, I think more importantly, the starting with Togekiss Dragapult is so dangerous against this team. Um, I do really think that he needs to switch up his strategy and bring Grimmsnarl. 
it's just again like the the, the potential of Dragapult Tokus is, is just absurd, absolutely absurd. Oh, he's popping out super hard. <laughs> this is he... KO. <laughs> no crits, it just blew it up. I think he, he must be popping off because he wanted the three to four zero wolf game one. Yes, <laughs> and that's what's gonna happen. Did he go for Phantom Force? He did, right? Oh uh, wait, Wolf? No, he went for the Dragon Claw. Oh, he got followed me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dragon Claw Dragapult is absolutely insane. Honestly, like, I don't even know how you can like consistently beat it without like your own Togekiss. Yeah. And like, because even the Pokemon that can beat both, like stuff like Tyranitar and Rapier, don't want to get warm winded. And yeah, it's just such an insane combo. Um, though we might be able to to see um, a lot of information here. Yeah, it is Dragon Claw. That's good for for Wolf to know, because um, we know that Japanese players like to use Dragon Darts. Which I've seen that a lot yeah, on the ladder. That's definitely. Very good information. Uh, I'm actually surprised they're using Dragon Claw because I, I don't think I've seen many Japanese players use Dragon Claw at all. Um, so, yeah, he got a lot of information. Knowing the sets is always important when it comes to Togekiss Dragon Ball. Uh, Wolf just gotta focus, understand the matchup, and um, uh, realize how uh, what his counterplay against that is. Um, but honestly, yeah. Dragapult took is insane. Yeah, that was like flawlessly played too. I um I wonder if like he also risked a lot of a lot of a lot like not not in the sense of risking the whole game, I was just saying that um there were a lot of risky plays that went for it and that's why the the strategy works so well too. Cause, you know, it's not it's not that easy to use. You can't just um slap those two together and expect to win. He went, for example, he went for the Helping Hand Phantasm when the Dragapult was on the field. When uh, Wolf could have, like, Dragon Clawed the Dragapult. Which obviously probably wouldn't ever do um, in that case because of the follow me potential. Uh, but Shoma just going for the Helping Hand KO into the, into the Gyarados was an amazing call. And um, it shows, like, how unnecessary it is to sometimes make a few calls. So it's not that telegraphed. Yeah, one thing I think that is important with the when matching up against the the Dragapult is to realize that um, the option for Wormwind against your own Dynamax, uh, you'll you'll have damage reduction like you said against something like a Gyarados. Um, so he needs to be careful. I think he'd, he's gonna have to probably try and match up with his own Dragapult to kind of like power through. Um, there's another matchup where just like Eldegoss kind of feels a little bit like it's not doing its job. Yeah, like the Elder Ghost looked good for the rain mode, but he's just not going in there. The same has so many different modes. He has the rain, it has the Dragapult Togekiss, it has the Rhyperior Bronzong. It even has the mode I, I used a lot of Rhyperior Togekiss. Um, yeah, it's so many possibilities and it's so hard to cover everything. He's going to lead off with uh, Togekiss and Dragapult again. Uh, Wolf making a right call and uh, basically switching up to the Grin Snarl. Um, Reflect will definitely help out, and the ability to go for something like a max airstream um, will be will be smart. I don't know if the, the Pokemon that he wants to max is Gyarados, though. That's the thing. Because if he goes for max Wormwind, he's going to get his attack reduced. Yeah, I feel like his Gyarados is not, like, meant to be too much of a sweeper, like, always. I feel like, um, as he was saying from his first round... Uh, Gyarados is very useful in uh, setting up like speed boost for the partners, so we have to keep that in mind too because he might want to do that later. I feel like that's what he was going for, um, game um, game game one because he was trying to airstream his own Dragapult and that's why like he went for protect for airstream even though there was the, the threat of warm wind, there was the threat of yawn, there was the threat of thunder wave. Like the the focus was setting up the partner, so he might be going for that. Um, it does have, obviously, the, the, I feel like the main focus is trying to snowball with the, the own Gyarados, but there's always a possibility to support the partner. What's good is that he's going to be able to, like, reduce the damage here with Reflect. He is going to go for the max into the Gyarados again. 
Um, if he can get rid of the, the Togekiss early, and then maybe get some some good damage onto that Dragapult. <clears throat> uh, getting a speed boost onto something like Excadrill in the back too could really help. Uh, but you're going to have to find a way to get the, the Excadrill in comfortably, which is something that without a lot of pivots, he doesn't really know. Don't really, don't really know if he has a way to do that. Yeah, but it, it does just go for a helping hand, which basically uh, just nullifies the reflect and makes it a regular move. Oh, he's popping up. Oh, yes, yeah, Steel Spike. Uh, and now it's gonna take a lot less damage. It just KOs the Grim Snarl through the reflect because of the helping hand. I think that actually works out better for yeah. a wolf yeah. in the long run because that's the free switch that I was talking about where like he won't have a way to get anything in for free. Yeah, exactly, and he can try to get an air stream on his own, um, on his own Dragon Ball. The problem here, I don't think, is the KO, but it's the Steel Spike getting the defense boosts. It's gonna be really hard for Wolf to break through. It didn't bring his own Dragon Ball, which is very interesting. Um, I think it's a solid call, because Excadrill looked okay. It's just, um, I, I don't know, it's so much to consider. Like, he had to replace something with Grimmsnarl, so... Uh, Dragapult was felt so so powerless against Togekiss Dragapult in the mirror, so I think it's a good call to leave it back. But we also have to keep in mind that Dragapult looks really solid against like everything else. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a tough call now. Uh, Wormwind looks. I'm really, really surprised that KO'd through the reflect. Even I know it's super effective, but dang. Yeah, me too. I think I think like hmm, maybe. You might be able to, to EV for that. Um, but it's, yeah, it's been insane. Non stab. Um, Grimmsnarl tends to run a lot of bulk. So, yeah, we just see the helping hand. Pretty telegraphed. Um, Garrett doesn't really to be, to be jolly because it also a Dragon Ball. Doesn't do any damage because <laughs> of the defense boost. But it allows Exodil to potentially just outspeed the Dragon Ball now. Which it does because it has the speed necessary. It's not enough, but slowly getting there. Got one shot again. Holy cow. Yeah, because. He's just getting run over. This is a little tough. Yeah, because, like, the, the helping hand just overrides the, the reflect completely. Yeah. It's so. so overwhelming. Yeah, it's what I was saying, right. like, going to the tournament, Dragapult Turkish seemed like such a good core. It's too strong. Please nerf. <laughs> Help us, Sakurai. Yes. Well, the good, the good news is he can't helping hand here, because he, he loses his, his Dragapult. So it is possible for the Gyarados to do a reverse sweep now. Um... Though, I wonder, mm, the, the Gyarados now is at minus one. Uh, there's a flag top, so basically it's a neutral. Not really, but you can uh, run it around to that. Mm. Um, you can't really help him because he loses the uh, Dragapult, so with reflect up, he should be able to tank anything. Um, yeah, we do see the following. Yeah. So yeah, we do just see the Mike's Geyser. Um, I mean, the is absolutely nothing <laughs> because of the yeah. Because when you're boosting the defense of the the Togekiss, it becomes really hard to knock out. Yeah, it's it's nuts. That does so yeah, I don't think that this game is winnable. Okay, so we saw Shoma cringing or something. So possibly miss uh, the yeah Sleep Potter hit. Yeah. Okay, okay, so with rain up, so we, with rain up and um, no Dynamax, no follow me potential, we might have a chance. Yeah, because uh, you can knock out the the Dragapult. Uh, you know, actually, you can knock out the dra the Dragapult right here. Does he have Pollen Puff? No, On he, he, had, he had a Synthesis, Giga Brain Protect, and Sleep Powder. Oh, okay. Yeah, with Rain Up, he's probably gonna get the, the knockout here onto the Dragapult. Mm, the problem is, like, he can just protect and burn his turn of sleep, and then it comes down to, like, Tokus waking up or not. Yeah.
Max Steel Spike, Phantasm. He did go for it. Did he go for it into the Dragapult? Yeah. That's what I thought. I It was a little bit too much of a risk to not go for the Waterfall there. Mm -hmm. Shoma kind of took the risk there thinking, oh, if he, if he doubled into the, what's it called? He was in a bad spot, but... If Togekiss stays asleep, then he has a good shot at, at maybe getting the KOs and everything else. Yeah, the attack boost helps a lot. And this is where he can stun Storm Let's see, the, the, the Gyarados is heavily chipped in a minus one defense. Um, actually, no, no minus one, minus two. Those are the second Phantasm. So, um, yeah, he has to play offensively and get things right. You think he goes into Ludicolo here? If he goes into Ludicolo, that'll be really problematic. Yeah, I wonder if he brought it. Maybe, like, if he brought the Trick Room Mode in the back, it, it could be fine. Oh, uh, he has Pelipper, yeah. Elder Goss should outspeed Pelipper. No, he didn't go for an airstream. It probably, it most likely won't outspeed the Pelipper then. Yeah, I think so he has gonna, to live and attack. I think he's gonna try to flinch the Pelipper. Where, mm, does it live Arcane? It has a lot of special defense, right? So maybe it lives the Arcane. Do I doubt like? I don't. I don't think he would live it. No, not at this point. No, I mean, um, I mean the Aldegoth. Oh no, the Aldegoth definitely will. I'm more worried about the Gyarados. If he gets rid of the Gyarados, it's game over. He can't do any damage. Oh, somebody's popping off. Because we know his, ca his uh, camera is ahead. Oh. Oh, wow. Shoma's really... <laughs> oh, he got a confusion too. No! Oh, no. It's not like this. Does Kalanel go through Protect now, right? Uh, let's see. Oh, it does. Yeah. That's weird. Did he hit himself in confusion? The berry helps. Needs to not. Come on. Right, it's only 30% chance. It's only 30% chance. He got it. All right. All right. All right. So Wolf still has a chance to win this. Took kiss to stay asleep for a long time. He has to probably crit through the the defense boost, though. So. And that's really just to get a chance at a game three win. Yeah, mm, well, he is at, um, he is at plus one and in rain. No, he's minus one because of the max one, one win. Oh, it was one win? Wasn't it? Oh, I thought it was Phantasm. Okay, my bad. Okay, so it's... Nah, he, went for, he went for one warm win. He went for Phantasm and Phantasm. I think he went for Steel Spike, Phantasm, and then a warm win. Okay, my bad. Um, So yeah, it's a neutral then, right? Because of Moxie? Yeah. He needs a crit. Or He's probably going to start healing up with the Elder Goss, though. He's going to try and go for Synthesis, I would think. Even though it's in the rain. You need the recovery. I hate how um, Shoma kind of spoils everything. That did nothing! Did you see that? Yeah, because it has de a defense boost. Yeah, I know, but still, it's pretty insane. With the rain up? I know. <laughs> I did a lot. Wait. Okay, never mind. No, yeah, because now with the cotton down, the Aldegas actually outspeeds the Pelipper, which is pretty funny. So he needs his sleep. He needs Pelipper to stay asleep. He needs the KO Togekiss. Togekiss got max sleep, which was really lucky. For Wolf. Though, to be fair, he could have gotten flinched anyway. True. Or crit. Man, all these RNG plays. Interesting. All right. I mean, one of us should definitely get the KO okay, KO. This this is no wrapping. Oh, he protected. Okay, that's good. Is it rain gonna end like next turn? Um, did it live? It lived. I'll tell you, lived. Oh my god. It's not good. He needs a flinch. He needs a flinch. He woke up. Did he flinch? Yes! I mean, uh, unbiased commentary. Okay, yeah, rain's over now, too. <laughs> now he has to dodge a hurricane or flinch the Pelipper. 
Oh, uh, the amount of RNG he needs to win this. Well, it needs to hit the sleep powder, I think that's... Cause now... Through confusion. Yeah. The amount of RNG he needs to win this. <laughs> <laughs> Shoma's fighting for his life. Shoma's also probably, like, has a chance to take Wolf to time. Yeah, it's almost... Mm. Yeah. Cutting down really coming through there. Yeah, that's a good thing about the sleep powder. Oh, sleep powder will go first, yeah. Um, Waterfall, yes. Oh, wow, that's actually great. I forgot how busted this was. All right, so Eldegoss actually coming through. Does he miss the sleep powder? Oh, I think he missed. Did he? Shuma popped off. Sab. Yeah. Yo, they avoided too. Let's go. Ah. <laughs> this is actually a really hype game. <laughs> yes. What does he have in the back? Yeah, it probably has Rhyperior, right? Rhyperior or Ludicolo? Yeah, Ludicolo. Ludicolo, okay. But it, it's funny. It's interesting he didn't go for it. Like before. Do you think he tail is Ludicolo? Ah, he has Protect Hurricane. Probably a water move. I would think it's Tailwind. Yeah, do you think he goes for it now? Uh, I don't know. Because he's probably going to fake out Eldegoss. But then he drops the speed of everything. And I don't know if the Gyarados is still faster. Yeah, maybe protecting Eldegoss. Mm, actually, no, never mind. Because, yeah, if they double the... F and there's the timer, too, to keep in, in, into, a <clears throat> into account. Oh, one for Hurricane. Okay. So, he bounces... Yes, to bounce the power whips. Oh, power whips! Oh, that's clever, actually. Does it KO? It should, right? It's minus. It's plus one. Is he banking on his ability to live with Gyarados? Uh. Ah, oh, he dodged. Oh no! Are you kidding me? Yeah, all the guys got knocked out too. It was a crit. Wow. Yeah. It was a really tough way to, I mean, it was a really tough way for him to come back anyway. But, yeah, it's very unfortunate. Wow. This is actually insane. Show Shoma popping is really up. popping off, bro. He is a very passionate guy. That's insane. And he crit to the last one. <laughs> he crit the Yorikin. Wow. Alright, rip. rip. Rip to our boy. Rip to our boy. That sucks. What a, what a, like,